I'm really excited to share something. So t today, for the last like two hours, I've been working on uh, building the structure on our website of how we how we would uh, provide this GMB offer and then uh, build it uh, build the value ladder. So again, it comes from this book, and in this book there are a lot of like examples of how it how it works. But uh, I had to I had to figure out how how we would do it for ourselves. So now we have it here. So first of all, uh, first of all, there'll be an offer. There'll be a landing page where people would see the offer. So there would be there would be a video at the top. Like I don't remember how long. It's like one to three minutes, I think. And then, so actually, let, let me tell you the structure of uh, of how you should structure a landing page in order to to create the conversion rate, in order to create conversions. So at the top, you, you should uh, actually, people make decisions uh, based on three things, emotions, logic, and then urgency. So the top part, which will, which will be the video, will be based on emotions. And there will be questions like, uh, what will you, uh, how, how would you feel? How would your life change if, if you achieve that, right? So th that's the top part, that, that's the video. That's what people get, that's, uh, that, that's the offer itself. How much, uh, how much money would they make? How much uh, revenue? Same thing, right? How how many more clients they would get? That's the top part. Then the second part is the logical part. Uh, some people that some people like thirty percent, I believe, uh, the data is thirty percent of people will make uh, a decision to buy based on the emotion. The second the logical part, I don't remember how, uh, how was the percentage of people will buy the logical but the people that don't just act emotionally will buy uh, also logically and there you add things like reviews you add why this will work some examples things like that and then people some people will will buy the second step and then there there's a third type of people that that needs to see emotion logic and then uh, urgency and urgency is like uh, bonuses, it's like uh, special uh, limited type promotions. And that would be, uh, yeah, that would be something like summer promotion, new year promotion, right? So th this is uh, how our page will be structured and how it is uh, structured, right? Then the second part would be, so th th this is the, uh, the, the, page part. Then the second part is the contact details. Another interesting thing, when people go to buy, right, and there's not a long form that they need to fill, it's easier for them. Therefore, the conversion rate will be higher. So instead of asking their their contact details, uh, their like billing address, uh, the, the card numbers, and then the app cell, which is going to be also in the second page, uh, we split it into two parts, right? So one will be contact details, uh, where people would put their name, and their email, and this would also be added to our email list. Yeah, which is great. And then, so th th that is the second part, right? And then the third part, uh, which is card, card information. And the, well, it's just the card information plus an upsell. Upsell would be uh, our first one-time offer, which is uh, which is an offer that would enhance our initial offer. And that would be so we have our Google. We'll have our uh, electronic book, ebook for Google My Business, and then we'll have an upsell for uh, for our re review strategy. And then the third part, so when people buy this uh, or on the third page or sort of like page, right, they'll have our special one-time offer. Here it is. And special one-time offer is something that will also enhance the initial offer, but uh, that would be priced higher. So in terms of pricing, what I'm thinking right now is our GMB offer would be at like seven to seven to ten dollars. Or euros, and then uh, the upsell for review strategy would be 
that's uh, not really sure about but let's say like 20 20 to 40 euros and then our one-time offer would be i believe it's either 97 or 197 <sighs> yeah and that's uh, that's uh, that's the pers uh, the progress that we've made today now i'll be writing the scripts for the pages for the videos and then uh, and then tomorrow i believe we'll we will start building the pages for recording vi the videos we'll see yeah and i forgot to tell you so we will after this sequence we will do an email sequence email sequence that consists of uh, five emails that would also sell our main offer which is erp so this is something that people will start with this is something that pe that uh, people can easily get so this is like a super lower price then the price grows and erp will be later which is our main offer this is what we uh, want to provide in the in the end um, and I want to show you something so this is a little bit hard to think through but I'm sure you'll understand let's say so a person comes to a person comes to our uh, where is it a person comes to our website then he either buys or he doesn't buy and then uh, the audience splits and if the person buys uh, will he buy the one-time offer the first one-time offer will he buy the second one-time offer if he will not buy the first time offer uh, then he goes here and then the way this works is for uh, which will uh, which is important for emails is uh, we need to identify where the person is and when we identify we will send special email sequences uh, to that person why it's important because if the person already bought everything that we need then he needs a special email sequence if he didn't buy anything he needs another email sequence let's say he just left his email but this is something we don't have yet right but let's say he bought our first one-time offer but he didn't buy the second one-time offer then the email sequence will be different here and this is what we have to create and this is what we have to think through and this is only for one offer imagine having a couple of offers we will have a, a lot of a lot of a lot of different mazes like this and this is what we have to do but this is very exciting because once the system is set up it will work magically and let me tell you about the new potential client that we have a year ago i joined bni the biggest networking organization in the world it's called business networking international i joined it uh, joined it here in belgrade and the director told me to to check out like online super elite BNI team and in order to get into the super elite BNI team you have to be BNI member for at least two years I believe and you have to have recorded like 50,000 or 200,000 euros in, in clients to other people and that's when you get into this elite but there was an option to there is an option to join those calls twice per year so once in six months and there I met some great people and I hopped on, on calls with them well, and one of the people there was a lady from the United Kingdom uh, and she she has a business where she produces dresses for, for people she needed help uh, she needed help with, with marketing that, that, that's what I used to do but the problem is that she was she had a problem with her budget now we oh, and what, what she proposed actually is uh, she said let's do like a revenue share you will pro you will bring in clients and i will provide and i'll just share the revenue so we'll we take all the risk but then we also just 
you know, if we do bad, then we get nothing. If we do good, we get a lot. But I, I just couldn't do it at that time. Now that we, we have this new company, so how many, o almost a year later, um, I recorded the video to her today saying that we have this new business that we started four or five months ago. We have uh, this option to do revenue share right now where we can bring her clients and, and uh, help her and then do the revenue share. We'll see how it goes. Uh, she hasn't responded yet, but that's just one of the way uh, one of the ways that I thought I can bring value to a person where we can bring her clients, and then that's what she wants to do to do a revenue share. I'm not sure how she's doing right now in terms of business, and I'm really excited to see what uh, she will answer. I want to show you something right now. So I'm building uh, our ebook. Actually, let's do it like this, right? So this is the ebook that I'm writing right now. It took me about an hour to write this. Uh, how many pages? Like th three pages. It's not finished yet, and it's not edited. I'll edit that. Uh, add some pictures here. The way I'm doing this is I have like a cheat sheet, and this is what it looks like. With this cheat sheet, you can optimize your Google My Business. Uh, it's actually available online, but uh, I'm also providing. So this is the, this is the cheat sheet that you can get from a lot of sources. But I'm also providing my own twist on this. I'm adding my experience and my information that I was able to find that I, uh, I gathered throughout the last year. Let's say or, uh, throughout the last ten months and how you can do this to optimize it and all the other things okay so where is this the ebook now looks a lot better added some pictures but we still have a lot to do there another another thing that i want to say is that it's pretty interesting that on our youtube channel uh, the views started to grow since i started posting these videos got like 150 views from you guys seem to, to to like this kind of videos well i'll try to do my best to provide as much value as possible so thank you and we have uh, 13 new subscribers so thank you guys yeah and also it's 6 30 p.m and i'm still working i started at 8 today i didn't work for about two to three hours during the day my brain just got overloaded with uh, this ebook. Once I started feeling better, I went back, back to work. You know. I think I've recorded enough today and I hope this was valuable. If it was, let me know. Let me know what you want to see next. What do you want to hear about our business? I have a lot to share, just don't have enough time to share, but I'll try my best to put it in, in these videos and provide as much value as possible. Once again, told you today what we're going to do, what exciting things we have. Oh yeah, one more thing, of course. So, today I received a message from a lady. And this lady is pretty, is a pretty big uh, lady, pretty big in terms of business, right? She has her bakery, she has she she's also a copywriter she has a her consulting business so she's she's doing pretty pretty big things here in belgrade i met her at bni as well by the way we got in touch a couple of times during like i think it was like four times du during the last year and she just she she wanted to meet with us see what we can do for or not necessarily we can do she said if we can do some cooperation for her bakery and her bakery she produces cakes and i'm not sure if she sells it to people from what i remember and it was last year like it was a year ago more than a year ago she would just sell cakes to businesses and we'll have a meeting with her the day after tomorrow. Today I didn't receive a message from the lady from UK that produces dresses. 
if that's okay we'll have a meeting on wednesday and we'll see how it goes yeah thank you thank you for watching let me know what you want to hear next or just in general what do you want to hear i'll try to do that thank you